मेरे लक्ष्य से ये रोस्टेस बनने थे और भूकंप आगे से अब जिस तो बॉन्सु जस्ते जो लगे थे ना अब जो बॉन्सु ने जस्ते लगे आ गया मेरे सपना चे नर्सिंग करेगा आर्मी में जाने सपना चा मेरे सपना चे इंजीनियर बनने सपना हो तो आइली यूएसए आइडियली स्कूल बनाए देखिन साइंस लैब आ रूम है हमने देरे एक्सपेरिमेंट आ रूम करना पाऊँ सो टीचर और सब पहले राम रोल पढ़ा हूँ ना इस तरी से मेरो ऐसी मामा क्रम रहा है मेरे सपना पूरा हूँ जस्ट माला लग सा। Like these three students of Dirga Pradeep High School in Sindhuli, hundreds of thousands of students in earthquake affected districts had dreams to fulfil. Their dreams, however, got shattered when the massive earthquake in April 2015 completely destroyed more than 7,500 schools in 32 quake affected districts. With almost all these schools now rebuilt with all the necessary facilities, these young students have become confident that they could fulfill their dreams. Dirga Pradeep High School is one of the 29 schools of seven districts that have been reconstructed by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID. It has also reconstructed seven health institutions in three districts. USAID carried out the reconstruction of schools and health institutions under its project, Nepal Community Reconstruction Program, NCRP. We also know that investing in education has a ripple effect that improves the health and the well-being of families. And that's why we reprioritize rebuilding schools because we know that education offers a proven lifeline out of poverty. And these schools that we are handing over today reflect just a small part of U.S. confidence, support and investment in Nepal's future. The reconstruction of schools and health institutions has been one of the major focus areas of USAID's overall support to the government of Nepal in the post-earthquake reconstruction and recovery. It can be recalled that the US government has been prioritizing investment in improving the educational and health facilities since the 1950s, as it is the first development partner of Nepal that began providing support in various sectors. बास्तवाको मॉडर्नाइजेशन तयी वहाँ रुको सहयोग बड़े शुरू भागो। है ना बास्तवाको 1951 मा हमें समा एक आर आप बंद सेकेंडरी स्कूल थियो। आई दूसरे तीन साई तीन साई जाती था बाइको प्राइवेट स्कूल थियो। नो यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी बने थी देखी है ना दूसरा अंडरग्रेजुएट कॉलेज थियो। सात साल मा मन तेज पढ़ा था ऑयली आमी यूएस स्थिति में आया कुछ आमी मेरे विचार में तो यूएस ए यूएस ओ एम यूएस ए पची पनी हमें ले शिक्षा लाय देरे प्राथिक प्राथिक तमा रहा को भाई देखो बा अच्छा राम रोटी वाला तो भाई को Continuing their focus on investment in education, USAID after the 2015 earthquake selected 29 schools in seven districts: Kathmandu, Bhagtapur. Kavri Palachok, Sindhu Palachok, Sinduli, Ramechap and Makwanpur to rebuild them with better facilities. The selected seven health institutions include three primary healthcare centres in Barabise of Sindhu Palachok, Kapilakot and Belghari in Sinduli and two health posts each in Makwanpur and Sinduli. Take an example of Adarsha Secondary School in Sanotini of Bhaktapur. The US government has built this school in 1966 to strengthen the education system in Nepal. This particular school in Bhaktapur was badly damaged in 2015 earthquake. As part of their support in the post-earthquake reconstruction, USAID reconstructed this school with all the modern educational facilities. 
Today, more than 1,900 students study in this school with the hope of fulfilling their dreams of becoming better citizens. This school is the only vocational school in Madhya Purthimi municipality that provides education on computer engineering. Sanjit Kumar Thakur, a grade 12 student of Adarsha Secondary School, has come all the way from Rautahat to build his career in the IT sector. Coming from a lower middle class background, Sanjit is a bright student despite losing a hand in an electric shock while flying kites in his childhood. He now facilitates other students of lower grades by assisting the teachers and also supports his family in running their small food stall. Adarsa secondary school chai aile tapai ko mala best lagcha aru school haru bhanda pani pahila ko tapai ko building haru chai aba testo properly sabai jana lai ek thama pugne gari thiena ke aba aile ko samay ma hernu huncha ani reconstruction pachi ko tapai ko aba eudai class ma pani aba 50 jana sama majja le marcha euda bench ma dui jana basna milne hunthe pahila pani aba euda bench ma tin jana sama basinthyo now that the school has well facilitated buildings the teachers here too are more confident to provide quality education to their students. Saleha Sheikh Akhtari and her sisters are preparing to go to Kanya Mandir School in Chhetrapati in the core city area. They wouldn't have attended a school if it was not for this all-girls school in their vicinity. After all the morning chores, these girls are happy to go to school as it provides them due space to perform religious prayers from time to time. The facilities in the newly reconstructed building has encouraged both the students and teachers to carry out quality education. अब हामी यो स्कुलमा किन आको भन्नाले हाम्रो कमिटीमा हुन्छ नि अब केटीहरुलाई पढाउनु हुन्न केटाहरुले पढाउनु हुन्छ केटीहरुले अनसेफ फिल भएको के अब केटीहरु केटाहरुसँग पढ्यो भने केही हुन सक्छ केटाहरुले नराम्रो काम गर्छ अथवा केटीहरुले भाग्छ यस्तो यस्तो हुन्छ हैन तर यो स्कुलमा चाहिँ एकदमै इजी भएको यहाँ केटी नै केटी छ हैन अनि सपोर्टिभ पनि छ अब मेरो फ्युचर पनि राम्रो हुन्छ भने म एकदमै राम्रो डाक्टर बन्न बन्छु भन्न लाग्छ के यो स्कुलमा पढेसी as a girl, first the main amro hygienic and person this colagi toilet co facility amro pailaku school when the computer gonu parvane oil equip them ramro sagina ki pailaku space or sanotio eute the re toilet saruthena ina subizana eute majanu pernunale this to hygienic nithena or oil toilet separate or sa te leg them ramro sa Kanamandirma pernevidati oru jun bukumpagu or is a good fear to door to to trust to to trust for the mukta bakasan or just to keep yellow company company the healer by your natural disaster company army source group my six challenge or dinos of me back at home Kanya Mandir school was constructed in 1946 by Kharka Dibyashwari Rana to provide quality education to girls the then Rana regime built this school to provide education to girls of elite families, which later became a go-to school for poor and deprived children living in the core city area. More than 800 students attend this school after the reconstruction, compared to about 400 before. Today, one of the most attractive features of this school is it has many students from the Muslim community who otherwise would have been deprived of the education. This has become an exemplary educational institution, depicting a cultural harmony with students from different backgrounds.
The reconstructed schools have not only well-equipped buildings, but have also raised awareness among the local population to attend schools in rural areas. More and more students are now attending schools where they have learnt about ill practices in the rural parts of the country. Some of these students represent hundreds of thousands of students in earthquake affected districts who had been deprived of regular classes after the devastating earthquake of April 2015 that destroyed more than 7,500 schools. More than 7,000 schools have already been reconstructed and USAID has contributed significantly in rebuilding some of these schools. With the reconstructed schools, students in far-flung areas are now receiving quality education in their vicinity. They have also decreased the number of dropout students and the whole concept of public schools have changed. Not only schools, the earthquake gave the government an opportunity to rebuild health institutions with much better facilities. With the support from development partners, many health facilities in rural and urban areas have got a new lease of life. This has helped and encouraged local communities to receive much-needed health services in a new and secure environment. One such facility is a primary healthcare centre in Kapilakot of Marine Rural Municipality in Sinduli, which was built with the USAID assistance. Jamuna Karki gave birth to her second child after 17 years. It was a difficult delivery then. She now feels that she could go through the process again due to the facilities available in the newly reconstructed health centre. Keshab Bahadur Karki is another local resident of Marine Rural Municipality who has been suffering from long ailment. He had pneumonia when he was a child, but he couldn't get necessary treatment. He's now receiving curative treatment for these ailments at the local primary healthcare center itself. The primary healthcare center in Kapilakot of Marine Rural Municipality is the biggest center serving 60,000 local people mostly indigenous Janjatis of Marine and Harihar Purgadi rural municipalities. It provides emergency services, curative treatments, maternal health care and post-mortem facilities. energy sustainable building the three primary healthcare centers in Barabise of Sindhupalchuk, Kapila Kot Marine, and Belghari of Sinduli and two health posts each of Makwanpur and Sinduli are today serving hundreds of thousands of people, providing them quality health services. The availability of quality health services has raised confidence of the local people and the local governments have taken the responsibility to run the facilities well. 
आज हमें धेरे ठूल सहयोग माइग्रेट होने जनसंख्या रोक धेरे ठूल सुविधा पाया इसको मरम्मत सम्मान देखि लीएर ये जम्मे कुछ अलग कसर बाकी नराखिकन गांव पालिक ने इसको जिम्मेवारी लिने कुछ मतबद्धता व्यक्त करना चाहूँ USAID while rebuilding educational and health facilities has given special preference to ensure gender equality and social inclusion. It has also ensured that all these newly reconstructed schools and health facilities are environment friendly and earthquake resilient. Especially in the context of Nepal, it is mandated by the constitution means that equality and inclusion have to be factored into everything that we do uh, in all the processes of governance in all the processes of development as it affects everybody's life during the reconstruction USAID capacitated the private sector by developing trained human resources including masons and engineers which would help the sector in future construction works It has developed two different mobile apps, Fixit Nepal, to connect with the trained human resources, and Gharbanao, to ensure availability of diverse construction material. इतना तीरा सिक्योरिटी बंस हॉर डिमांड बंस हॉर सर्विस प्रोवाइड करने सप्लायर बंस थियो तो दूसरा को कनेक्शन योर आज चाहिए एक फॉर्मलाइज्ड वे में ना वर्कली कर दाखिल चाहिए यो एप ले चाहिए योर डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ले चाहिए दूसरे ना को बीच में कनेक्शन गौर दिन को लाइक गौर को it has further equipped the construction sector with soil test and material test facilities crucial for quality construction ye grant ko through bada hamle international standard pani liyam aba hami quality ma compromise gardam no we are very strict on quality hami chai ekdam quality focus ma chau aba auni jati pani structure haru banchan unni haru chai ekdam ramro era quality ko chai huncha cdm smith a US private sector construction and engineering company facilitated the activities related to involving the private sector in the reconstruction works the company designed and constructed 12 schools and 6 health centers and carried out third party monitoring in the rest of the educational and health institutions financed by USAID we have engaged the uh, local designers nepali designers nepali contractors Nepali uh, social mobilizers as well as communities and these learnings in my opinion USAID and CDM Smith could replicate in similar reconstruction process from national context to international context while implementing the reconstruction works USAID has helped the National Reconstruction Authority the NRA in preparing a new building code to ensure safe and earthquake resilient construction in coming days चाहे तो विद्यालय को पुनर्निर्माण हो स्वास्थ्य संस्था को पुनर्निर्माण हो वा निजी आवास को पुनर्निर्माण हो वा इवन चाहे हमारा चाहे कोई पेय गद्दी बैठक लगा आज को हम रो आचे पुनर्निर्माण को काम हो आयो चाहे बोली को दिन मा सुरक्षित नेपाल निर्माण करने कुरा कला ये समेत पनी हम रो विपद व्यवस्थन प्राधिकरणसंगमि� काम हो रही थी आवारा चाहिए आंगारी बड़े काम बसता चाहिए प्राय इसमें यूएसएड को जून खाल को सहायक रहे हो तो महत्वपूर्ण है। Today, seven years after the devastating earthquake, Nepal has much better and safer schools, health institutions, and public infrastructures, and USAID has played a significant role in helping the government in its aim to build a disaster-resilient Nepal. and fulfill the hopes of millions of people living in earthquake affected districts